wanted to thank specific people here because this was a great collaboration. Um, if you go down and see Taunus Square Park, you'll see what a great collaboration can do. So I, I want to thank first the guys from the Veterans Transi Transition House, John and Sean. Um, and I also want to thank Emily, a longtime volunteer at the park, and Anna Pax, who is also a longtime volunteer who couldn't be here, and Jess, a longtime volunteer who couldn't be here. Um, I want to thank Great New Bedford Folk Tech for offering the classes to these guys, um, which was a great opportunity for them. I want to thank the Harbor Development Commission, the Parks and Rec Department of New Bedford, which is represented by Mary, South Coast Serves, which is represented by Deirdre, and the Ledoux Center for Civic Engage Engagement, which is also represented by Deirdre, and um, Cable Access for being here, and Nelson from Domino's for providing the pizza every day. It was a a really great experience. <laughs> um, so I have some remarks from Senator Mark Montigny, who um, un, you know wished he could have been here, but he's unfortunately stuck in traffic coming down from Boston. So he called me and made me scribble out some notes. So <laughs> he wants to thank the vet the veterans, and he he told me that he has a strong affection for the vet veterans tran transition house, and um, is very proud of the guys and is very proud of also the fact that he was able to get an earmark to increase the budget for the transition house. So he's, he's very excited for the guys and wants to send his sincerest gratitude to you for the service of this, to the city and to, to the country. So, um, you know, I just want to give them a round of applause. So they did such a great job. So I'm just going to introduce um, Deirdre Healy from the South Coast Serves, just to give a couple remarks on exactly what South Coast Serves is. So Deirdre. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, South Coast Serves is a collaborative of community-based organizations led by the UMass Dartmouth Ledoux Center for Civic Engagement. And the purpose of our collaborative is to to have projects like this. And we're building the infrastructure for service and volunteerism in the region. And one of our main goals is to strengthen our social capital, and that's what you see, a collaborative of organizations here working on such a great project, and to give our students the opportunity to show their leadership skills. And I think all of us should give Jacob Miller a round of applause, because he certainly has done that. Um, for more information about South Coast Serves, or if you're interested in participating, we're on the web, south-coast-serves. Thank you. Thank you, Deirdre. Thank you, Deirdre. Um, now, I just want to call Jim from the Veterans Transition House to have a couple of remarks. Well, thank you very much. Um, I'd like to just to say a few, th a few words about uh, how proud we are um, to be part of the South Coast Serves uh, Collaborative. Um, and, and one thing I'd like to say is about, uh, and Deidre, I know we met a few years ago and when this first started going, and um, we wanted to get very much get involved, but it was very hard, as I think anybody that runs a nonprofit organi organization knows, it's very difficult to get volunteerism going, uh, especially when you have, you know, slow staffed and, 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 uh, and, and such like that. Um, but we've uh, actually lucked out, and we have uh, Kelly Monroe here, who is a, uh, a VISTA volunteer from Texas, and who's putting this all together for us, so we can get our guys out there. And these guys are volunteering out there, uh, helping out with the park. With I understand with Emily that you've been a, a longtime contributor and volunteer with that with that park, and um, appreciate the service and the service of our guys that, that have gone out there. Our, our vets at the Transition House understand volunteerism. Uh, they volunteered to serve their country. And um, we, we know we have a great community here that supports uh, veterans and supports each other. And so we are very uh, happy to be part of that. And um, that's it, that's all I've got to say. And thank you very much. Thank you. Can I just get a round of applause for Kelly too because she did such a great job. So um, the, la the last person I'm going to, well, the second to last person I'm going to call up is Linda Enos from Great New Bedford Folk Tech, who graciously donated the classes. So please give a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob. I'm the superintendent director at Great New Bedford Folk Tech, and Jacob served on our school committee the last year that he was there. And I knew that Jacob was going, going to do some great things. Matter of fact, I think I told you that, Jacob, didn't I? 
<laughs> didn't I? <laughs> and so this is just one of the great things that he's done because it's people like Jacob that gets community organizations together to work together that makes this a community. And so we hope to see more from him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for seeing us. And lastly, I just want to call Christina from the mayor's office and um, to give proclamations. Thank you so much, Christine. Thank you, Jacob. I am here for Mayor Mitchell. He sends his regards. He would love to be at this type of event. Unfortunately, he cannot be here today. Um, this type of event is just one of the things that makes us all proud. The mayor proud. We're all proud in New Bedford to see our community groups like South Coast Serve working with our school systems like Vote Tech and our private industries like Domino's, Nelson from Domino's, and our Parks and Recreation Department. It's a true true partnership. No one can do this alone. And to have volunteers that not only step up and do some time, but do such great, great work and really put some passion into it is just, we, we can't thank you enough. So on behalf of the mayor, I have some proclamations to issue. And it's a resolution that says, be it hereby known to all that the city of New Bedford, Massachusetts hereby offers its sincerest congratulations to John Sark in recognition of the generous contribution of your time in volunteering to beautify Tonneson Park Square. Also your commitment to service by taking the South Coast 60 pledge. The entire citizenry extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses the hope for continued good fortune. Given this day in June, Mayor John Mitchell. So this is for John. And I won't bore you reading it again, Sean O'Brien. Thank you very much for your service. There are also five other veterans yes. that contributed to this project, and they will also receive their thanks from the mayor. And we have one other special award, um, because Jacob was kind enough to tell us that this also wouldn't happen without the great work of Emily Johns. So this is also here our recognition. So that concludes our program. Just give everybody one last round of applause. and. Thank you for coming out and enjoy the great AHA night. Even though it's raining, it'd still be a great night. So give everybody a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you.